What's up everyone, this is CyberNerd, and today I have a very special opening for you guys, probably one of the rarest openings I've done on my channel, and today we're opening up a uh, Yukio 5D's Duelist Box. So yeah, with that kind of name, you may be wondering, what, what's a Duelist Box? Is that like a Duelist Pack, or, or like one of those tins or something? No, it just uh, kind of shares a name similar to those. Basically, it's a way that they got Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. You also get a DVD of Jack and Yusei dueling against each other, but it's like an alternate reality, like a different duel than happened in the series, because they both use their Assault Modes. You get Red Dragon, Archfiend Assault Mode, and of course, Stardust Assault. So it was uh, kind of a what-if, sort of another way they dueled, which... Honestly, I liked it a lot better than the one in the series. I mean, it was really cool to watch. And not only that, too, you get this light point counter, you get some packs of cards, there's like your promo, and the whole thing is actually a carrying case, as well, you can see from the handle. So, yeah, I had to get one of these. Again, they are very rare. Something, again, that only came out for Japan, and, of course, I was able to get this from using Bai. So, check them out, link in the description, and also, it's where I get a lot of stuff that is, like, really rare that only came out for Japan. It's a lot better to go through them because you're paying as though you live in Japan. So shipping is much cheaper. You don't have to deal with as much of the importing stuff and all that. So if you collect a lot of Japanese cards or anime figures or whatever that's in Japan, it makes it much cheaper. So getting something like this was like probably half the price it would have been if I would have actually found someone on eBay that had it and, and just get it over here. So I suggest checking them out. Of course, links will be down in the description. And again, it helps support the channel and all that too. And it is something I recommend because I've been using them a lot lately. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing that I figured, you know, that I learned about them because because, yeah, <laughs> I, I keep shopping on there now, so they might have got me. There we go. I'm trying to be careful with the box, but the handle was stuck. So, there we are. Put that down to the side. So, as you guys can see, it's actually a carrying case with Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds on it. I think that's kind of cool. Put some of your cards in it. Might do that. Has, like, these little latch things. And here we go. Uh, how do we open this? Oh, okay. Piece of plastic on that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Then, first off, we have our promo card, which is Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Of course, the secret version, which I think we got this uh, through the um, the Target uh, Duelist Pack 10s. So, it's really cool. And I think holographic is different, too. It looks like that more parallel. So, that would be cool to add this to my collection. Then, here is the DVD, which uh, they don't have a cover for. It looks like it's just like a, a game or something, the way it's in there. But I'm going to have to check that out. I don't know if that will play on our DVD players or what over here. I know some that kind of stuff could be region locked. So, no idea. I hope it can be played. And, yeah, here is the life point counter. I can't read Japanese, so is this on and off? Or... Alright, I went on ahead and got some batteries, and I'm still not really sure how you start it. Is it... Okay, there's a timer, actually. Coin flip, I guess. Oh, that's neat. Alright, so I guess that changes it, and you can do heads or tails with a coin. On a... Is that camera picking it up? There, you can kind of see it. It even has sound effects, too. The coin, dice. <laughs> I like how it even makes the sound for that. That is really neat. And I guess somehow you get rid of life point. Oh, okay, maybe one or the other. C minus 3,000. Blue eyes, white dragon attacks us directly. There we go, yeah. <laughs> that is really cool. I like that. I might actually use that. I remember seeing these a long time ago because, again, I think this came out around uh, 2008. And, uh, yeah, this is actually really neat. This is something they should make for us nowadays. I mean, that would come in handy. Or, or even an app, like an official app that would do this would be awesome. So, <laughs> there we go. I don't know how you turned it off on this. Uh, I'm sure one of these buttons, but, uh, yeah, that's actually really cool. I, I thought I remembered those doing a lot of different stuff. And then also we have our packs and everything, too. It looks like there's some kind of tray. Oh, okay, this is like the instructions for the, the calculator and everything, which, uh, that's not going to help me out too much. <laughs> I, I can't read it, so, uh, yeah. And then also it looks like we have some card dividers. There. So yeah, they just have like a circuit board pattern on them. I guess that way you can, you know, sort your cards in here. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like the simple design of them. Always comes in handy. And uh, yeah, let's go on ahead and open up our booster packs and see if we get something really awesome, because that would be cool. There, like the first three packs that came out for 5Ds. Oh, they actually do have the tear. That is really helpful. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dark Resonator. Remember that one, easy. Book of Eclipse. Oh, and? Oh, we have uh, one of the psychic monsters. I think it's, is it Psychic Snail or something? I think it's something like that. I think it's, you know, uh, kind of an obvious name or something. So, <laughs> there we go. I don't remember the name exactly. Yeah, this is, we, of course, we're not guaranteed a hollow. 
by the way. Older packs, so. Let's see, uh, Magical Android. Oh, that's pretty good. It was like a super rare for us, so that's awesome to get. I forgot what was a common for them. Boost Warrior. Then, uh, we have Mid-Piece Golem. I remember the name of that one. That's Easter Remember, one of Jack's monsters. Let's see, I'm going to go in order, so we'll go Crossroads next. And these are older packs and everything, too, so that means, well, I guess Japanese packs just in general because you can get Ultimate Rares and Ghost Rares. So, yeah, I guess Japan still has that, so <laughs> whether it's old or not doesn't really matter. Some of the plant monsters. Then, uh, Mad Archfiend. That's kind of cool. Again, another one of Jack's monsters. I think those are all used in this DVD, so <laughs> there you go. On the Morphtronics, got the timer, deformer, which is like a lighter for Japan, but for us it was like a hard drive, I think. Something like that. And then a Morphtronic Accelerator. I remember the name of that one. That's easy. And now our two Crimson Crisis. Come on, let's get a Red Dragon Archfiend. Now that would that would make sense. That would be really cool. So <laughs> let's see. Hope we at least get a hollow. So far, not the best luck with the packs. I think the whole thing is worth it though for the calculator. Gale the Whirlwind, by the way. That one's easy to remember. And then uh, Life Force Harmonizer, I think. <laughs> I think that's uh, the name of it, if I remember correctly. That's an older one. And, oh, picked up a promo card, too. All right. So, last pack. Can we end with a hollow? Come on. Heart of the Cards, help me out here. Let's get something awesome. I really want Red Dragon Archfiend, just because. But, uh, yeah, let's at least try to end with that hollow. Hit that like button. Share your energy with me. Let's see what we get. Gladiator Beast, Salmonite, that's kind of cool. Then it looks like we're ending with, ah, uh, unfortunately not, Alien uh, Ammonite, I think. I think that's the name of it. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, obviously it's one of the aliens. It's the Tuner Monster. <laughs> I do know that. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, luck with the packs wasn't very good. But, I mean, honestly, this kit is like worth getting for this life point counter. I mean, seriously, Duelist Device, I guess technically what it's called. That's what it says at the top. That is really cool. Again, seriously, Konami should make these. Uh, I would buy another one of these. They are easier to get. So that is awesome. I love how to even make sounds and stuff, too. And, of course, I like the DVD because it's the only way I believe you can get it. And, again, I hope it works on, uh, like, an American DVD player or my Xbox or, or PlayStation or something. I don't know. But I definitely want to watch it, even if it doesn't have subtitles or not. I want to see those episodes again because it was pretty cool. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Just something really random. But, again, it's really rare. And it's... It's something I've been wanting for a while, so I was glad I was able to pick one up. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, or ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And, of course, too, uh, let me know what other openings you guys would like to see on this channel. If you have some ideas or requests or anything like that, let me know. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.